Welcome back to virtual reality. My name is Thomas and you're watching Voodoo DVR. This is the next episode of the VR and AR weekly news. This time week 19, 2021 with the newest VR and AR hardware and of course games and releases and sales. Thank you to my sponsors, Woodcuse VR, Opperman Events, Peter Wasmeyer, Virtual Escape and Slim Beats. Let's have some fun with the video and let's go. Voodoo.de So you better not uh, cheat in virtual reality games anymore because <laughs> Sony is um, teasing shadow banning for PlayStation VR. That's great. So if you want to cheat in Firewall Zero Hour, you perhaps get banned. <laughs> so this this game uh, this is also um, known as stealth banning or ghost banning, and uh, I think um, this is very interesting because uh, for I for myself I really hate cheating in multiplayer it it's just not fun for everybody uh, it's not fair and stuff and i really hope uh, they're gonna um, um, implement this but it's very hard for this software to recognize real cheaters and people that play fair because for example when i lay on my a floor with my virtual reality sticks, uh, then the, the engine could see, hmm, perhaps he, he uses a glitch bug uh, inside the bottom or whatever, inside the floor, but uh, I just uh, laying on the ground and that's crazy. I, I hope they can do it and I hope um, multiplayer cheaters get banned then. So there's a new SteamVR beta that implements two functions. The first one is um, you can adjust the field of view now. And this is the same like fixed foveated rendering. The area where the scene is um, rendered in full quality can be um, smaller than you can reduce it to whatever it's 75%. And then of course uh, in the middle it's clear and on the outside there is a, it's, it's just not a full quality. But then you have more performance left and then you can, can go for a bigger, um, um, super sampling resolution and then the picture is perhaps a little bit better on um, not high-end PCs I would say. And the second thing for the beta this is a uh, overwrite world scale. So sometimes in uh, VR games um, it could be that you feel like your your character is too small so you you find very big chairs and it for example it looks very strange or the other way around you feel too big for the world and now you can just override the world scale with a slider and then you can fix that is is compatible with most games as they say and you can now play a little bit around with this setting now the Pico Neo 3 Pro and Neo 3 Pro I are available at least in the Asian market and the price for the Pico Neo 3 Pro is $699 and um, for the Pro I with eye tracking $899. And in China they also have uh, three flavors of consumer versions of the Pico Neo 3 and they only cost $399 for $20 or for $70 and that's a uh, Good competitor. I mean, in China, the Pico Neo 3 and 3 Pro are um, the same like uh, here in Europe and America, the, the Quest 2. Yeah, so they, they uh, cannot use Oculus devices because Facebook is locked there. And uh, then they, they just used, uh, used the Neo 2. And it has the same uh, processor than the Quest 2, the Snapdragon XR2. And it has a single display with 3664 by 1920 um, resolution at 90 hertz. So this is pretty good, to be honest. And um, it also has the six uh, degrees of freedom track device and controllers and it's also compatible with uh, nvidia cloud xr that means you can stream wireless stuff via 5g and wi-fi networks and that's uh, very interesting you can also connect it via a cable to a pc and play all the steam vr content and that's pretty interesting so you will be able to play half-life Alyx and all the stuff with that as soon as uh, as long as you have a um, gaming pc so that looks good. I, I hope uh, someday there will be a Europe, European or uh, American um, consumer version and then I will get it and try it for you. So I reported this week already about the two new HTC headsets, the Vive Pro 2 and the Vive Focus 
three. So if you missed the videos, check out the links in the description below. I will not again tell you everything about the two headsets, just a, a quick walkthrough. We have on both headsets, we have two for 48 and by 2448 per eye. And this is a very high resolution. We have 90 Hertz, 120 Hertz at the Vive Pro and uh, for the Vive Focus 3, uh, 90 Hertz. And then we have IPD adjustment range from, uh, from 57 to 72. And uh, we have Steam VR tracking, um, Lighthouse tracking. And the price is, um, let's see here, um, only for the headset, 800 bucks. And for the whole set with the two base stations and the two controllers, 1,400 bucks. And for the Vive Focus 3, this is um, more expensive because it's a... Uh, um, Standalone headsets, we have 1,300 bucks um, without base stations because we don't need any base stations. Um, yeah, so guys, um, if you want to check it out, there was one thing that people didn't know. Um, I, I, I also didn't know that. Um, so HTC wrote something about 120 degree field of view, but they didn't write diagonal or horizontal. Normally in the market, um, if, if they don't say anything, it's always diagonal because then they can list a higher number. But obviously, I asked HTC myself and they responded to me, it's horizontal. To be honest, I still don't believe that. I, I think HTC doesn't know what they are talking about. But if that is true with 120 horizontal, then the marketing of HTC totally sucks because why shouldn't they write that? They should write 120 horizontal because diagonal, it would be like something like 140 even. And then it's even a bigger field of view than the Valve Index. And if this is really true, then I'm really looking forward to the Vive Pro 2. But I still don't think that this is true even though HTC told that. <laughs> so whatever I will, uh, I already pre-ordered the Vive Pro 2 and then I will do a field of view test and then I will see if it's bigger than the uh, Valve Index. Also, I will uh, um, test the Vive Focus 3 for you, but this will be later. The most important is of course the Vive Pro 2. So guys, as I said, more details are in my uh, two videos. You can find them in the description below. So make sure to subscribe so you don't miss my, my reviews of the two headsets from HTC. So Facebook is preparing an Oculus Quest Pro. And this will not only be a little bit lighter, it will also bring face and eye tracking and perhaps fitness tracking, whatever that is. <laughs> but for the eye tracking, it's very interesting because then we can implement, implement um, foveated rendering. That means uh, we can play higher resolution games on the Oculus Quest perhaps. And um, Mark Zuckerberg told um, that it will be slightly more expensive. So I guess when now the Quest 2 is $299, it will be perhaps $349, like 50 bucks more or something like that. Um, but I, I, I'm not sure when this will be released. I think it's, it's not a big thing, the upgrade from Quest 2 to Quest Pro. Uh, so I think it will perhaps be released uh, later this year or, or next year. And um, yeah, I, of course I will get this and then I will do a review like you are used to that on my channel. So make sure you, you subscribe. So Roblox, this is a very popular game. To be honest, I never played this. <laughs> so I have no idea about this, but the developers say it's already available for Steam VR headsets. And the developer said it makes sense to to do a Quest version. So expect an Oculus Quest version uh, of this game soon. And uh, I can tell you that when it's released on the Quest, I will try it for you. A really, really cool um, game called Gadgeteer uh, with aw awesome physics animation. So it's like Domino. We have a, a ball and we have to um, do a parkour with this and uh, activate some stuff. And um, this is uh, very interesting because, as I said, the physical, um, the physics of this game is really awesome. And now it will be available for the PlayStation VR. Um, it will support the DualShock 4 controller and also the Move controllers. 
and it will be released on May 25th, 2021. I already showed this on my channel on PC, so it will be not very different from the PC version, of course. So if you want to check it out, you can find it on my channel, Gadgeteer. So about this, I already made a video as well this week. Um, the facts of the new PlayStation VR 2 were leaked and um, it has a resolution of 2000 by 2040 per eye. That's really, really good. Uh, it has IPD adjustment. It has eye tracking with foveated rendering. That means we uh, can really play high resolution and good looking games on the uh, PlayStation VR 2. It has a cable, a USB-C cable to the PlayStation 5. And we have inside out tracking. That means the cameras are tracked via uh, the, the controls and the headset are tracked via the camera. And we also have head mounted haptics. That means in the headset are uh, force feedback motors. And uh, that means it can perhaps um, reduce motion sickness. We will see. I will of course uh, test it for you as soon as it out. So make sure to subscribe. A quick update from Pimax, the DMAS, the new um, head strap that you can um, replace uh, um, for the Pimax headsets is going to the testers. Now there will be some people that will test it and confirm if it's good or if it has to be improved. So um, should be available soon. And the progress of the sword controllers is uh, really good. They have no technical issues in the prototype and they are going to the next a phase, perhaps mass production testing or whatever. Uh, they changed a little bit the alignment of the of the buttons and also of the uh, shape. Uh, and I'm really looking forward, especially to the Sword Sense controller when we compare them to the Valve Index controllers. I'm really looking forward to the Pimax controllers. And the last thing is, if you backed on uh, Pimax on Kickstarter and you still get, didn't get your backup box, then uh, please um, provide this information to Pimax so you will get them. I already got my backer box. I already showed that on my channel. And if you didn't, please provide this information. Let's check out the releases this week. There are not much, to be honest. On Steam, we have Frockhand Steve. This is a free um, fly-catching simulator. You are a frog. It's for free. Then uh, we have Once Upon a Sea. This is a documentary with photogrammic um, um, pictures uh, of the Dead Sea and you can have it for 8 19 euro on Steam and then we have Dream Cowork Beta so we can work together with your friends or with your colleagues or stuff and this is also for free. Then there is nothing on the Oculus Quest, nothing on Rift and nothing on PlayStation VR as far as I've seen that. Only on the App Lab we have some stuff like the uh, Project Z, uh, zombie infested, uh, infested uh, hospital, then a Gladiators, um, this is an intergalactic TV show, a Vrit, this is a VR fitness app, Hybo, for example, this is an um, arrow shooting game, concert hall, a music orchestra simulation, and um, the viewer. Um, I... I I always check out the um, App Lab apps as well. And if there is a cool one, I will, of course, show it to you as well. There's nothing new uh, that I found this week. So if I missed something, please write it in the comments below. That would be great. Thank you so much to my new supporters, Darkman222XX and Sam. And of course, as you've seen in my intro, I have a new sponsor, Slim Beats. Uh, thank you so much and this is absolutely great. So if you want to appear in every intro of my videos, as, you, as you've seen that, uh, you can get, uh, become my official sponsor. Check out uh, Patreon or YouTube membership. If you have a company, a VR company, and you want to uh, be mentioned in every video with your logo and your name, then perhaps this is interesting for you. So let's check out the sales. Super Hot VR on Steam, a cool action game, 40% off. Then we have Boiling Steel. This is a single player shooter, 70% off. There's nothing on the Oculus platform so far, but on the PlayStation VR, we have Trova Saves the Universe. This is a really funny action adventure, 65% off. Vibe Out Omega Collection, this is an arcade racer, 60% off. Blood and Truth, this is um, action adventure as well, 63% off, and everybody's got VR a golf simulation for 76% off. So guys, if you didn't subscribe, 
um, to my um, Instagram or TikTok or Twitter. Check out the social media links. It would be really great. So you can check out all the news between uh, the weekly news as well. That would be cool. So guys, thank you so much for watching. Give me a thumbs up and see you next time in virtual reality. See ya. Voodoo